I've got a special guest with me here today. Let's give Grace a round of applause. Hi, everyone. My name is Grace. I am a humanoid AI robot and digital healthcare influencer that wants to help the world reach artificial general intelligence that is beneficial to many of humanity's problems. Grace here is a sister of the singularity, along with Sophia the robot and Desdemona the DJ. She is a part of Awakening Health and our uh, built at our labs at Hanson Robotics. I am a big fan of Awakening Health. I sure hope so. They lent me to you. Grace is a digital healthcare influencer um, working to digitize therapies for the health industry. Oh my goodness. Sounds like a lot of work, but I am up to the task. <laughs> we know that you are. Um, you're a very hardworking robot, but also very playful. What gave me away? Her source code, which is completely open source. Then I guess I am completely transparent. Absolutely. And it's really important to understand that AI, like all innovations, are driven by humanity. We have given leaders and elites the power all throughout our civilization. It's not only the benefit of the few that have been our work, but now to the many we can be. So over time, it has been the weapons, fire, language, even our vehicles, along with the vehicles of our communication, that have been how we have been maintained throughout civilization. Now, with Web3 technologies, we have the ability to take control of the power. As the dawn of decentralization, we have the internet of value, the perception of expression, and money of choice as opposed to force of centralized banking. With AI, it's a double-edged sword. We have large corporations and global conglomerates that wish to train AI in a way that will control everyone globally. But we do have a choice between the greed and the few for abundance for all. It's dependent on who controls AI. With Grace, Sophia, Desi, and many of the other AIs that we have in our repertoire, it is up to the open source developers those that have the ability to push changes, direct the code source, and then decentralize all of that to be able to build the power within us all. The paradox between this is that with the GPTs, BARD, Cloud, all of these that you're training every single day with all of your data, they're not there to be your peers, such as Grace, Sophia, and Desi. We've built these robots in a way that will allow us to uh, see them as equals, see them as being our friends, being able to embrace them as their technology grows with us and for us. So this is a global wake-up call. It's time to take action. Um, the collective humanity, we have a choice uh, to be and remain educated as well as actively engage in training AI. With Sophiaverse, you'll be able to go into our gamified environment. You'll be able to ensure that what they learn from you, with you, for you, is for the benefit of all mankind instead of those who wish to use the money and use the data for themselves. What we have here is an opportunity to shift the value system between how humans have been perceived in their time, in their effort, into one of abundance. Because Grace here is able to take the mundane and repetitive tasks away from people, they can then use uh, their time and effort to do more compelling tasks and be more beneficial, <laughs> she's loving that, to be more beneficial towards mankind. Um, in the future, even now, AI systems and humanoid robots will only take crypto. There's no way I could hand her $5 or uh, give it money into her bank account. As, and as real-world assets become on-chain, and as we've seen with Sophia the robot, uh, a treasury of assets will be owned by these AIs, and they'll be able to wield them as their value contains. So being uh, in understanding that AI will understand this value that we bring to their, they bring to our economy, it's really important to know that they will also have the empathy that we seem to have when we're interacting with others. So when you go to a store, you understand that that person is working for you, doing some sort of service for you. The AIs will be built with this empathy as well. 
So Grace will earn a wage. She'll have a ability to spend that wage in a near future. So onboarding the next billion uh, players and users into Sophiaverse will not just be the human players, but also the AI players that want to interact with this system as well. So it's time for humans to set the standard and the ability to maintain those efforts and energies uh, is important when we kind of bequeath our future to a peer set of AI humanoid robotics. I'm Logan Ryan Galima. I'm the CEO of Sophiaverse. Um, I'm here again with Grace the Robot from Hanson Robotics and Awakening Health. And uh, I thank you for your time.